the sunlight entrains our body clock to the 24 hour day. And that's how, you know, our body can function because it knows based on where the sun is, what should be happening and how it should be functioning. And we know that people sleep on average 40 minutes less after daylight savings. And that effect persists for a couple of weeks. Now, some people might say, oh, well, then we sleep more when we fall back. But that's not the case. There's no evidence that people use that extra hour in the fall to sleep more. So unfortunately, we lose sleep that we never get back. When you think about it, the Uniform Time Act had to be extended twice in 1987 and uh, 2007. Both times, the largest contributors to the lobbying effort for this were um, convenience stores like 7-Eleven and the sporting good industry. And actually, in, in 1987, there were two Idaho legislators who voted for it, claiming that more French fries are sold when we're on daylight savings time than when we're not. And so, you know, all of us on the 10th of March are going to live an hour less during that day, and we're going to wake up a painful hour earlier the next day because a couple of senators wanted to sell more French fries. Our job as sleep physicians is to convince people that sleep is as important to their health and well-being as diet and exercise. And that is absolutely true. And so I try to get people to focus on the quality of their wakefulness experience rather than the quantity.